Ciao a tutti. After a very, very long trip, we finally made it here to DJ Television, to the studios. Frank Zappa. My neck is still sore. <laughs> yeah, well look, here's what you have to understand about yeah. the trip to the studio. We were staying at the lovely hotel Leonardo da Vinci, which is in the middle of southeastern nowhere. And it's really not that far from the studio, but we were following a car driven by a person from Rome uh, in order to get to the studio. And this person drove all around Milan for about an hour and a half before we got here through heavy traffic. And I think that it's absurd that a person should have to be subjected to that kind of torture before doing a television interview. And the poor interviewer has suffered so much from riding in the back of this car that she has asked me to help her by rubbing her neck while we're actually doing this interview. She has a very nice neck except for one thing. It's dirty in this area here. I her hair's hard. Well, it's, <laughs> just pretend that it's really yeah. dirty. It's not really dirty, but it's sort of dirty. Now, can you get a good shot of this, this hair right here? Do you have any idea how much her hair weighs? This girl has very heavy hair. Are you aware of the fact that she is half Norwegian and half Japanese, and now in your country speaking Italian to you? Don't you think this is a little strange? And she's supposed to be interviewing me. Tonight, for the first time on Itali Italian television, we're going to clean her neck. I have some equipment here that will make it a little bit easier to do this. If you have any questions that you can ask me while I do this, uh, it will make the show seem a little bit more like a real TV show. Yeah, well, just let me put my questions down here okay. so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm going to ask you some very basic questions. Sure, fine. How was your tour of Milan? <laughs> my tour of Milan? I got to see quite a bit of Milan yeah? while we were driving around, uh, and uh, most of it didn't look too good. <laughs> well, you saw a moon. It was a full moon. But there was so much pollution in the atmosphere that it made the moon turn almost red, as you saw it through the dirty air. Yeah, but you're Italian. You should be used to all this, uh, this is Italian pollution? atmosphere. Yeah, and the pollution. <laughs> yeah, well, I think part of that pollution is what you have on your neck. And we're going to help you get rid of some of it now. Now, this is the first step. This is wet toilet paper. You just kind of moisten the neck a little bit right here. Just yep. nice and just, it's cool and it's relaxing. It's it has, is this where you get the ideas for your songs from? Like you've written about yellow snow to Jewish princesses to everything under, under the sun. Is the next one going to be about dirty Japanese necks? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no. You got, how long have you been in Italy? I've been here for four years. For four years. Have you ever had salami rubbed on your neck before? Never before. Okay, well, tonight, this is the first. tonight is the night. Oh, my God. This roll is uh, uh, unusual because it's hollow. It's from the atomic testing. And we're putting that there. Be careful, that's fresh bread, huh? Okay, well, we'll m maybe find something else to do with that later. This is some kind of salami. It has quite a bit of grease in it, but it won't stick to your neck because we have the water there. Just a little bit right on the side, and maybe a little bit in your hair, just so that when you see your boyfriend after the show, he'll wonder what the fuck you were doing. <laughs> okay, now I put on the special gloves. Yeah, you were telling me before something about why uh, artists used one glove, as in Billy Idler. Uh, Duran Duran. Yeah, the, the reason why a lot of the big groups are wearing one glove today is because, is your neck tired? No, I'm fine. Uh, I'm here, just rest your head on my knee okay. there. Uh, a lot of these big groups today use one glove because the one hand that the glove is on has been used for a special purpose and oh. maybe has some blisters or hair on the palm. And when the person appears on stage showing the audience one glove, it indicates to the other people in the audience who have do been doing the same thing with one hand that the person in the audience and the person on stage are the same kind of a guy. In other words, they're all jerking each other off, and that's what the one glove means today. Interesting so, answer. Well, I wasn't going to... I think I'm going to have to do this with both gloves. Now, you have some... Oh, this is going to be very hard. I can't do that because I won't be able to control the pencil. I'm going to give your neck a little yeah. bit more character. We recently here. found out that Frank is also an artist. 
he draws on people's necks. Let's this is a premiere for Italian television. They don't usually have this, but... How'd your concert go last night? Oh, well, what difference does it make? Yeah? Mm. No, it was very nice, actually. Yeah. Now... You want me to go and ask any questions? Well, whatever you want. <laughs> Seems like you've got this interview under control. Here's what you can do. You can pretend to talk, and I'll work your neck and make your neck talk. Okay, for you. here I go. You ready? Sure. Okay. Listen, Frank. Um, <laughs> <laughs> seeing that you know here in Italy and like in a lot of other countries here in Europe, they don't understand the words to your songs. Do you find that the crowd here differs from the one in America or in England? Of course it does. In what way? Because they don't know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> now. I want to show you some pictures. This needs to oh, yeah. be. What's that from the the movie you did? No, it's not from a movie. It's from a um, a Broadway show which hasn't been done yet. This is the star of the show, and uh, the name of the show is Thingfish. And this creature has a head like a potato and lips like a duck. And this is part of the Christmas scene. This is taking place on an Italian's front lawn in New Jersey. You can see the nativity box here. And um, her name is Rhonda. Later, she does this. She's getting ready to fuck her briefcase. This is a very large briefcase. Can you see these? Oh, thank you. Her briefcase is seven feet tall. And um, she's using this uh, vinyl apparatus to expedite matters. Later, she says, I'm going to put my hair up in a bun, put my glasses on, and fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> do you have any other questions you want to ask me? Yeah, well, um, what's one more thing? What did you have to do with this thing, this Broadway? What I exactly wrote did you it. do? You wrote it. Yeah, and the album is coming out on. Whoops. Oh. Ah, the album is I coming feel out on EMI. When's that going to come out? Then you get my questions. Probably around the first of the year. <clears throat> Anything you'd like to add? Uh, no, except that it's been really a lot of fun coming down here working on your neck. And, yeah? Uh, unless you it's want the full a... body massage now. Well, maybe after. I think we should, you know, first cut it first, you know. Oh, are you sure you don't want to just lay down here right? I mean, you know. You don't want me to walk on your back right now? If I lay down on the floor? Yeah. I don't know if they can get that in the camera. Sure they can. Lay down. I'm attached to the chair. That's okay. Unplug yourself. Oh, they can't hear me. Oh, well then, let's see. How else can we do it? Oh, here's a way to do it. You can lean over the stool. Yes. That way, no. <laughs> what? You want to lean the other <laughs> way? Can I put my ass in the camera? Oh, yes you can. They don't have to this aim way. at it. Okay. So are you going to say goodbye to the people now? Yeah, I think I will. Well, it's been fun, and it's been a pleasure, and see you soon, DJ Television. Thanks a lot, Frank. You're welcome. Ciao. You want to call your doctor now? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Basta.